It's naive. Alright, that's 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 good. That's good. Ah oh, man. Hey, hey. It's your boy Jay Scott. I'm out here in San Antonio, Texas. Hope y'all uh you know whatever city you in, you know, Monday. Appreciate those that's uh you know watching right now, I'm a wave at you. What up, Mouse, Don, Tim? What up, though? Uh, so I titled this right here, uh, NFL, TMZ, and Black Churches Have Something All in Common. What they all what they have all in common I'm pretty sure what, what, what do they have all in common Jay uh, they all be on some bullish uh, look man this 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 NFL NFL so sloppy and sketchy man you know I mean look if you don't watch the games I mean I understand you know because of Colin Kaepernick and the whole thing and the and just the, the the blatant racism, and I get that. I mean, me personally, yeah, I still watch the games. I'm not going to lie to you. I still watch the games, and people would be like, well, you supposed to be a conscious nigga. Why are you watching the football game? Because, nigga, I want to watch them, all right? <laughs> but, nah, I watch, the, I watch the football games, you know what I'm saying? I mean, a lot of people get caught up in the NFL and not watching it. But, see, my thing is, if you're not watching the game, but you still buy from the sponsors, then what's 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 the point of not watching the game? You know what I'm saying? Like you don't have to watch the game. I feel that they they been feeling that the 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 ratings have been low on that. But at the end of the day, I don't I don't I try not to deal with the sponsors of the NFL because that's who the NFL makes the money through. You understand what I'm saying? Let me Wendy Joe, boy, that is definitely a old school. Black name right there, Wendy Joe. I love it. But uh so recently you had uh Kareem Hunt, who is an NFL player who played with the Kansas City Chiefs, and uh this kind of just leads me to well, I'll say this, there's a lot going on in the NFL. You got a lot of dudes that are able to still play on teams after they've been catching domestic violence. And they still able to play on the team while Colin Kaepernick ain't got no job. I get it. But this kind of moves me on to TMZ. All right, so the NFL player Kareem Hunt uh, was somebody that was at a, they said it was a hotel. But I've seen uh, and heard that it was a condo apartment. All right, so I guess he's from Ohio. You know, he was in Cleveland. And they showed this video of him shoving this female. Uh, he like kicked her in the um, foot or something. But see, what they really don't tell you is that first of all, he didn't get arrested for this. All right, um, there were no charges pressed on him. And you know, uh, allegedly, you know, the female that you see in the video, she was at Kareem Hunt's friend or whoever their condo door kicking it trying to get in the door and apparently they got the yelling nigga 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 for like almost a half hour okay so you know and apparently allegedly his his cream hunt's girlfriend came out there 
and I think her and another female or something got into it with the female that, you know, now mind you, the female that is on the video on TMZ, the chick was underage drinking. You understand what I'm saying? She was drinking allegedly. All right. She didn't get arrested for it. You know what I mean? She didn't get arrested for that. You know what I'm saying? And the video shows, you know, the girl, the female getting pushed down after, you know, Kareem Hunt tried to go into the, the room or they try to, because people were holding them back. You understand what I'm saying? So not only, not only did he shove her, you know what I'm saying? But the chick hit him in the face. Now, my, this is my thing, because I want to make sure that people kind of understand all they showing on this news outlet stuff was that he, you know, originally they said that he came out and physically um, assaulted the chick. You know what I mean? And my thing is, yeah, he did something wrong. He shouldn't have put, he shouldn't have touched her. And part of the problem is that, you know what I mean? It's like, bro, you ain't learned from OJ. Like these young cats, these dudes is not learning at all. It's like, bro, you live in a system where if you're with a white female and you're a black man, you're living in a system that sees that as a form of rape. And I'm going to be 100. That's what they do. Most of the black men that, that are NFL players or just black men, period, that date white women in the system of white supremacy that we live in, that is considered to be rape. So anytime you see these black dudes getting in situations with the police or you see them getting in situations with people like the Proud Boys and all these other neo-Nazi type groups, it's because they see that as something that is bad and negative on the people. All right. So when it comes to Kareem Hunt, man, nah, man, you, you should have stayed your ass in the room. But I mean, if he a young dude, and I get why he came out because what would stop the female from going? Because they called the police. The police was like on their way. But what would stop that female from coming out and saying that Kareem Hunt raped her? You understand what I'm saying? That's that's another thing in this in the system that we live in. You understand? So I, I understand why Kareem Hunt came out there and, and wanted to try to you know do something about the situation. I mean, if I if I was in a situation like that and I had a female yelling out my door, nigga, 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 for a half hour, and she's kicking and punching the door, at some point, I would have tried to do something, too, especially if I called the police, and the police ain't showed up yet, yeah, man, I would do that, and then thinking that she's probably gonna go out here and say that I'm raped her or something, now, mind you, Kareem Hunt had, had a female with him, allegedly, apparently, this was supposed to be his girl, who was white, I mean, you know what I'm saying, these niggas ain't learning, man, these niggas ain't learning at all. Like, you're not learning at all. I mean, yeah, you can love who you want to love, but, bro, we ain't in that system like that. So you have to understand what kind of system you in before you can start dibbling and dabbling with these pink with these pink toes, man. These white, these white chicks will get you fucked up in the game, son. And it ain't, it ain't because of love. It's because of the system that you live in, man. And TMZ, see... TMZ, <clears throat> in my opinion, TMZ is working is working with them people, man. I believe that TMZ is working with either the feds, the government. TMZ is working with somebody. Because for that tape, now this situation happened in February. But that tape came about now and somebody sold that to, to TMZ. You know what I'm saying? That's supposed to be evidence. So why isn't the police dealing with that right now? Why isn't that under investigation? Why is it that TMZ was able to have that and break that? You know what I mean? And TMZ, man, TM, like I said, man, TMZ, been, been, <laughs> TMZ is no joke, man. You know what I'm saying? They show up before shit even happens. You know what I'm saying? And then Cream Hunt did not know that there was a video of this. Like, bro, you in a condo apartment type. And you don't think they got cameras there, my nigga? Like, oh my, like, man. like, man. And you know what I'm saying? Like, these young boys, man. These young boys, y'all, y'all got to see. It's not. Even, I'm not even gonna blame them. I, I blame the OGs and the lack of OGs. <coughs> 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 Some good shit. I blame 
these these OGs in this NFL shit. Y'all should be trying to sit down with these young boys, even if y'all have something, talking to them about it. Y'all should be meeting with these dudes at least every month, man. Especially these high profile uh athletes, you know what I'm saying? You should be meeting with them on a regular just to see what they face and see what they going through, see what's up. And the reason why they got rid of Kareem Hunt is because he lied, all right, and told them that nothing happened in February and Blase scoop. And of course, he took the fall for it. And you know, what I'm saying it's a it's a unfortunate situation, but at the same time, though, bruh, it's 2018, man. If you ain't if you ain't knowing what's going on around you, if you don't know what kind of system you live in, and you from Ohio, you know it's crazy up there in Ohio. Peace out. Why ain't got on no jacket? I don't know. I have no idea. Um. So yeah, it's just deep, son. She's deep out here, B. What up, Cuzo? What up, Cuzo James? Uh man, what up, Shonda? What up, Germ? It's a Jaleesa. Jessica, hi. I mean, I appreciate that, man. Appreciate y'all checking me out. So, man, I got one more before I go, man. The last thing I want to uh, say, uh, these black churches, man. Now, when you read, you read what I, you read what I post up there. You read what I post up there, and it says all three of those have something in common. They all been wilding out, man. Have you seen this new shit from these churches, yo? Okay. Have you seen this, these these footages of these of these black churches, man? Have you seen footage of these black churches? I seen the footage of a church from a nigga hanging from from the top of the church and got pulled down. To the congregation, like this. Hey, 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 hey! Shit was crazy. Hold on, let me let me see y'all dog right quick. This is my dog. What's up? Uh, uh look at this nigga right here. What happened? Oh no! Yeah, I believe it though. Look at him. Look at this dude, man. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he's getting up there, man. He's getting big. But um, yeah, that's what they all have in common, man. They wilding out, man. I seen a nigga. I seen a come on, man. I seen a pastor nigga on on at the top. This nigga and he wasn't even saying some some him. He wasn't even saying nothing from the Bible. He was just like, y'all see me, Lord. If you just bless me and bless everybody, and he's like coming down, like and they was coming down like. I don't know if y'all can hear me, man. I just had a like everything on the speaker. I guess you can because people are still watching me. But this nigga was coming down like he was uh like he was uh in a circus or something, man. This nigga was coming down like he was hang gliding in the church, B. And I remember seeing somebody put a caption on there saying he thought he was Beyonce. I mean black and then not ah black church, what do we black churches, man? Come on. I seen a video. They had like three or four black women, and they was all dancing, lightweight line dancing, like they in a sorority, and they was like twerking, yo. They was like twerking in the church. What are we doing? What are we doing, man? See, this is the reason why you have a lot of people leaving the black church. You know what I'm saying? This is the reason why y'all have black people leaving the black church, man, because. It just keeps getting more weirder and weirder in these churches, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it almost feel like you're going to the club club in the church, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. Like, I'm going I'm to go to church. I'm trying to go to church to get closer to God, not closer to draws. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's like a circus, man. I don't, man. Now, look, man. I ain't going to lie, man. The, the pastor that, that, that hang glided down. It was clever, man. It was it was, it was coonish, but it was very clever. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it was hang gliding. They was like, "Yes, if you love Jesus, like I love Jesus." And he wasn't even like 
he wasn't even like in some good posture. He was like hanging to the side. It's, it's like his his feet was up and shit. He was like, oh, if y'all just look at me. He was like, hang glad. Like, I just love God. And if you love God, like I love him. Pass the collection plate early. Yes, I'm hang gliding down to the first row pew. Like, are you serious, dude? Are you serious, sir? Like, come on, man. Like, we I can't even believe that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I'm saying. The black church. After a while, look, man, look. There's been for years black people going to church, and a lot of black people don't trip on the coonery that goes on in there. They don't trip on a lot of the negative, neg negative, evil, devilish things that goes on in the church. Everybody will be like, well, that's that's them. That's not me. I'm here for this and I'm here for that. But collectively, you're supposed to be there to get a great peace of mind and a great peace getting closer to your soul. You know what I'm saying? As far as getting to your consciousness. Man, how can you do that and take that serious when you got a nigga hang gliding? down the whole church it's, it's, it's getting crazy out here man so that's all i really want to talk about today man y'all keep your eyes and ears open out here y'all pay attention out here um that's pretty much all i got from now man uh the nfl tmz and black churches all got in common was that all three of them are all three of them are on some other shit. You understand what I'm saying? So, appreciate that, man. Appreciate everybody that tuned in. I holler at your boy. What up, Brian, Matthew, Monica, <coughs> Antonio, what up, bro? Bolton, Tori, what up? Appreciate that, Uh, you know what I'm saying, that love, man. Uh, just wanted to get on here right quick, talk some ish. Uh, but yeah, that black church, man, that had me going, man. That had me kind of, had me kind of weirded out, man. You know what I'm saying? That that's some new, some new shit right there. You had a nigga hang gliding, yo. The nigga, the nigga was hang gliding down from the top of his. What up, though? Good afternoon. Where you at? Where you? Good afternoon. It's like well, I'm in San Antonio, Texas. AKA North Mexico. So, you know, it may be, I don't know. But uh yeah, man. Uh just want to talk a little bit right quick. Uh y'all can holler at your boy, man. Holler at me on social medias. Uh you can go to my hashtag uh what the F is your problem B. That's W T F I S U R P R O B L E M B. That'll bring up everything. I, I hashtag everything, so I'll bring up all my social media and everything, but I just wanted to get on here and talk some little ish. And uh, you know what I mean? That's it. So y'all have a good night, man. I'm out, man. Peace.